red female. So I'm just saying hello to let her know that I'm safe and good, I have a good place to be. Introduce myself. Yes? How are you? So on the release aspect of the test, she did quite well. She moved up really quickly. There's a... Hi. There are lots of little puppies that... Uh, even when I open up the gate, they don't move. They're, they're not uh, confident enough to move out. She, uh, she came out pretty quick. So a nice level of confidence, although I wouldn't say bold, and she's certainly not running around here playing. So she's finding some comfort uh, sitting beside me. So we'll just give it a minute and see what she does. So release aspect, quite nice. Okay. Yeah, she's giving me lots of kisses. She's not, uh, she's not really using her teeth. She's licking my jacket. Very good little girl. So you can see by like she's uh, got a little bit of a lower body set, she's definitely sniffing her stretch forward, Is uh, she's unsure of that tent so she's being very careful. Her tail is uh, not tucked between her legs but it's quite still and hanging down. <coughs> Generally we would like to, especially the, the, this breed, her tail should be up, uh, up a little higher. So she's, she's feeling some stress. But uh, hi, yes, you're good. So on the interaction uh, side, this little girl certainly has a more social side than um, an environmental side, which is lovely. Uh, there's, no, it's not, uh, it's not good or bad. It's just what she is. So it's quite nice. You can uh, build her confidence and. Um, the bond that you'll get with her will come really easy. She uh, has been licking me to death and no teeth yet. So she's um, she is depending on me for a little help. So basically, um, you know, energetic play and and uh, introduction of uh, lots of new things. Uh, definitely crate training because she has to learn that she can't be with you 24-7. I'm just going to give her a minute to see if she moves away. But I think the answer is no. Mm -hmm. Very responsive to my voice. Uh, like you can see that her tail is coming up. Um, but she would rather just... Uh, Helps maybe she's had to go to the toilet. And we will have to deal with that one after I think we're up. See? actually gone to the bathroom and I've left the room. She is kind of looking around. I'm going to sit 
down for just one minute. Maybe not, because she, I was going to see if she would stay looking around, but she's come right to me. So we're going to start walking around the room and see if we can't get her. The body shake is shaking off stress. Yay! She's, um... So this is really, really nice. This also is a sign of social behavior, and she would rather follow me than, than look around the room. So she's doing a lovely job. Yay! So really, really, really encourage her and um, praise her when she comes and use that as the start of your come with her. Although I don't think it'll be much of a, much of a problem. Um, the idea, yes! Very, very good! Good girl! Good girl! So the idea is to be able to take her somewhere public and uh, she can go off and have a good time with people. But she is responsible for checking in with you as much as it is for you to be looking for her. Um, you can see her use of her paws. She would like nothing more than for me to pick her up. Yes, very, very, very good. So you can encourage her to look at stuff. Like this is a good way to build a bond. What's this? Look. Okay. How about this? She wants me to pick her up. Bad. <laughs> What's in here? Puppy, puppy, puppy. What's in here? Yeah. Yeah. So definitely um, introduce uh, lots of new things to her. Uh, do this exercise in a small room like this, and then a bigger room with different toys. <coughs> and then maybe outside in your backyard. Before you take her to a really uh, busy uh, park that has lots of distractions, you want to be you want that bond before you set her up for success, as opposed to just taking her there and going, why isn't she staying with me? So you can see she's standing by me, so she's very social. Very good. So you can introduce lots of stuff and get her playing. Yay! Very good. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. So after her freedom of being able to walk around, I'm going to just pick her up and see what she does. So this is a small test of patience and tolerance. Uh, she uh, doesn't know me at all, and uh, this is like a whole different thing. She doesn't know what's going on. But look at how still and beautiful she is. So she... <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So very, very good girl. So she couldn't do that uh, any better on that. She's... Uh, patient, tolerant, and uh, also quite willing to do whatever you ask of her, so that's, that's lovely. <laughs> lovely. Some puppies just struggle from the moment I pick them up and they want down. But uh, she's like, okay, I'll do it. What's this? What's this? So. Oh, girl, are you going to bring it? So we encourage fetch. It's a great, uh, a great game for physical and mental and bonding. Like it's, uh, she's not intimidated by the paper. She's keen to go. She's the retrieval part of it is not a natural thing for her. So you can try to teach that. Yes, yes. Yes! Bring, 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 bring! Absolutely perfect! Yes! Look, you ready? Go! Bring, 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 bring! Puppy, 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 puppy! Absolutely perfect! And look at how she drops it up my feet. <laughs> what a good girl! What a good girl! Tiniest use of teeth there, but it's nothing uh, really 
Uh, there are exercises like no teeth on skin. They have to know at an early age that that's not acceptable. <laughs> So she's done extremely well through all of the, the, her paces that we're putting her through. This is a, a treat test. And so, we, you know, we kind of encourage you to use treats. It's, it's a great reward system for learning new and for rewarding new, new things and for rewarding good behavior. But we don't want them to be overexcited. Otherwise, they can't perform what you're asking. So I'm going to give her a little treat just to make sure she even likes it. So it's different consistency than pu the puppy food that they've had. So she seems to really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece under a cup. in that she didn't go crazy and run around the room, but she did lose a little focus. So either she didn't like my treat, she's not working hard enough to get it, well, she's working hard all right. So definitely treats uh, can be used. She didn't get overexcited. She did work hard to get it, but uh, then gave up. So um, the goal is just to find something that she really likes and understands uh, is a reward, but nothing that will send her over the top. So that's that's what our goal is. You did really well, but look how nice and calm she is. Some puppies just grab the uh, cup and fat the cup all over the room and totally lose focus that there is a, even a treat there. What are we doing? What are we doing? So you will notice that she uses her paw, paws a lot and she would really like me to pick her up. Good. I'm running out of balls. behind. Uh, her tail did go a little still. Uh, she came to me, but she's been coming to me throughout the whole test. Um, she's not crying. I wouldn't call her overly upset. This is what she's been doing throughout the whole test. We're just going to wait and see if she moves on by herself. Super job. So she went through my legs and then went to the noise source. Uh, if she was like really scared, uh, she would sit still. A little yawn means that she's a little upset. But she hasn't shut down. Some puppies run to the door and I can't get them to move anymore. Um, very good. So even though she's coming to me, she is moving. Um, if she she may benefit if you did this exercise at home and just made the noise louder and louder um, so to desensitize her of such an, a loud noise. But I think basically she's wanted me to pick her up since the beginning. <laughs> so not a bad job, but uh, maybe help her out by desensitizing her. 
What's this? See, she is more interested in me than the toys. This could be from the toy. Look at this. Yeah. What's that? Look up here. Look. What's this? Very, very good. Oh, that's super. So very interactive. She's using her paws a little bit, which is kind of like, um, like if you do it, I'll do it. Like she, she's depending on me, but she's not shut down. So that's very, very good. So this little girl would benefit from an introduction of a lot of things, different things, different colors, different size balls, different uh, motion. Noises, right? See, she's not really scared of it, but just uh, just increase her. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's very very good. What do you think of this? Mm -hmm. This is a little test of. Basic prey drive. So the basic prey drive cannot be taught. It just it's built in. It's what she's born with. Uh, nothing's good or bad. It's just what you. It's good to know what you're um, working with, and kinds of, you know kind of directs you in the point, the way of different exercises. So. Um, for me, this is absolutely perfect. A prey drive, there's nothing wrong with it. You just have to really work with it. So this little girl has a quite low prey drive. She's kind of interested, but man, it's taken her a long time. I mean, a real squirrel would have to like jump over her for her to really go. But now she's got it, so. Oh, good catch. So as she becomes more comfortable, at home, like with you, um, she may uh, get a little more confident. So it's uh, you should really teach her the basics anyway. Uh, to drop it, leave it, watch me. Anything that will redirect her attention back on you. So overall, what a sweet heart. <laughs> like what a lovely little girl. Breeze through the test. I hope you enjoy her. Good girl. Oh, you got that.